I got to ask this question. How can I add images, multiple images to a Google post and in what order will they show up? And the second part of the question is, what happens if I want to add more than nine images, which is the maximum number of images you can put in a LinkedIn post gallery? I want to answer both of those questions in this video. So first of all, I've created a set of images. Here they are right here. I've got, uh, I've created a whole bunch of them as I was experimenting for you. I got number one, three, five, seven, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And you'll notice that they are in, uh, they are in fact in alphabetical order, even though I created them in a random order. So let me show you what happens here. Because I really, I created number one, then A, number three, and then pound B, number five, then I create them in that order. So they're created in a different order than they are named. That's important to understand. So let me show you what happens here. So I'm going to go create a post, and I'm going to do testing. And I'm going to go get my images. Select the images. And I'm gonna get them right here. One, three, five, seven, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And I'm gonna open. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't let me do all of them because I have more than nine. So let's try that again. Select images. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom, now I have nine images. But look at the way, the order that they're in. That's number one, number three, five, seven, nine, a, B, C, D, where did I stop? A, B, C, D, okay? Hit, now, by the way, there's a lot more work I need to do to post images. Uh, a, I need to do alt text on every image. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of showing you this part, but always put alt text on every image when you put it here, hit done. Now I can add more, more conversation here, more reason of why I'm sharing this. I can say here, images are added alphabetically by the file name. Clean up my grammar, my spelling, and I'm gonna hit post. So there's my images. There's my post with nine images. And if I click on this image right here, and I use my right arrow, you can't see the arrows because it's white on white, but I can use the arrow keys, number three, number five, number seven, Number nine, A, B, C, and D. And then back to number one. They are, in, they are added to the gallery post, the uh, gallery photo post, alphabetically by the file name. Now, the other question was, what happens if I want more than nine images? You know, what happens if I want 10 or 12 or a bigger number? Well, you can't do that in a gallery post. But I have a couple choices you can think about doing. Let me show you something, what I did. I created a, a, a slide deck. I used Google Slides, I could have used PowerPoint. And what I did, I used a different set of images as I put each image as a slide on my slide deck. And so I don't know how many I have here. I probably have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, uh, I've got definitely more than nine. I think I have 10 or 11. There's two ways you could do this. Number one is I could export this out as a PDF or even a PowerPoint, and I can add that as a document to my post. Or I could grab the URL to this uh, slide deck and share the URL. Let me show you those two options. Watch this. Option number one, I'm gonna get the URL. Let me go over here and get the URL. I got it right here waiting to share with you. Copy that. Come over here, testing, showing a Google slide deck URL. Post that in there, let me let it resolve, which means bring it up. There it is right there, and I can hit post. So this is what that's gonna give me. It's gonna give me a Google Doc. Now it's gonna to wanna to go open the Google Doc. I can't scroll through it here, so this may not be the best way to do this, but I could click on it because it is shareable, and it's gonna open up, it's not gonna be in slideshow view. Now, by the way, there's a way to make that happen with the URL, but bottom line is there's my slide deck, and I can scroll through it and see all the images. May not be the best way to do it. Let's look at another way of doing this. Give me a second. Let's try putting the PDF in here. So I had to start a post, testing,
Now I'm gonna go get the PDF. So I gotta click on document here and choose the file. And I think right there it is, hit enter. Uh, greater than nine images in a PDF uh, for gallery view. And my spelling's atrocious. Hit done. Testing, sharing a PDF of, of greater than nine images. I'm gonna hit post. This is sort of kind of like a gallery. Look here. This lets me scroll through here, just right here, lets me scroll through. I can go to big screen if I want to, and I have the arrow over here, black arrow on a white this time, and I can scroll through all of the images. Sort of, kind of, as a photo gallery, but I have way more than nine images to display in here. And furthermore, the viewer has the ability to download this if they would like to download it. Bottom line, you can share nine images. They will be added to the LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn post as, as photos in the alphabetically by the, the file name of the image. Or I could share it as a Google Doc. It doesn't give me the ability to do the gallery view as a Google Doc. It'll open up as a Google uh, slide. Or I could export out the slides, whether it's PowerPoint or Google Slides, as a PDF and add the PDF as a document and I get the, the sort of kind of the gallery scroll that I also have a little bit similar down here uh, in a photo gallery. These are just ideas for you to be able to display the images that you want to display that are relevant to what you do and relevant to your target audience. Otherwise, why are you sharing it? I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope these ideas are helpful for you.